4. News 4 Jax continues. It is the third largest religion in the world, and recently one of its spiritual leaders chose Jacksonville as his first pastoral visit. Archbishop El Pitoforos was recently enthroned as the head of the Greek Orthodox Church of America. News for Jack's anchor Stacy Spano spoke with him during his Jacksonville visit about leading a traditional church in a modern age and about the controversy surrounding a Greek Orthodox Church at New York's Ground Zero. Archbishops of the Greek Orthodox Church may not be widely known, but they have been a part of the fabric of American life for generations. The most well-known being Archbishop Yakovos, who made the cover of Life magazine after walking alongside Martin Luther King Jr. in Selma, Alabama in 1965. The newest Archbishop is Elpido Foros. His enthronement in New York recently may seem a bit exotic to American eyes, but this is a tradition of the Orthodox Church, a Christian denomination that traces its roots to the apostles of Jesus. It's estimated there are over 270 million Eastern Orthodox Christians in the world, third only to Catholics and Protestants. So many Americans don't know what Orthodox Christianity is. What would you like them to know about Orthodoxy? Uh, I would like them to know that the Orthodoxy is the church that prepared the foundations of our church and of our faith as it is today. Uh, it is uh, the place or the center of the world where uh, Christianity flourished for the first time, uh, recognized for the first time as an official uh, religion by the state. The 51-year-old Archbishop was born and raised in Turkey, speaks six languages, and is a monk. In contrast to the Catholic faith, Orthodox priests can get married, but not if they want to become hierarchs. Women cannot become priests. Archbishop Elpido Foros takes over the American church with one very public matter to handle, and it has to do with this half-finished church at the World Trade Center site. The new church will replace this 100-year-old church that was destroyed when the Twin Towers fell during the September 11th attacks. Over $30 million were donated to build a national shrine at Ground Zero, a place for people to reflect on the tragedy. In 2017, construction came to a stop. An audit concluded that over $3.5 million earmarked for the shrine were instead used by the archdiocese to fund a shortfall in its operating budget. The Archdiocese has since paid back the money with interest. It is true that uh, uh, it's not the best image that we give to the American society when we have a, a, a church, a construction, uh, at the site where Ground Zero is, where it's a sacred place for all American nation. There are some reports with respect, Your Eminence, that there is a federal probe of the Archdiocese. Can you comment on that? Um, it is uh, something that we, it's out of our control. We respect what the authorities will decide and investigate upon this case. And uh, we will accept with gratitude whatever the decision will be. When the shrine will be completed remains to be seen, but the Archbishop says it's his first priority. One on a checklist of things he'll no doubt want to accomplish in a country he says he's always admired. The United States is a reference point for democracy, freedom, human rights, all around the world. You don't have that in the history very often. And that's why I'm proud of being in this country and uh, serving as an archbishop. Stacy Spanos, Channel 4, The Local Station. Archbishop El Pitoforos also said even though America is a secular society, he believes it to be a very deep spiritual society and is looking forward to ministering here.